I'm going to build a manual dispenser for the solder paste that I have in this little jar. I 3D printed the frame of the dispenser from a model that I found on Thingiverse.com. It's a really clever design that allows you to snap in a small syringe and adjust the retraction tension on the plunger. You install a spring that gets pinned between the head of the plunger and the dispenser frame. The frame has this sort of tooth design that allows you to dial in the placement of the syringe based on how much travel you need for the amount of solder paste that's inside. Squeezing the handle presses on the plunger to start dispensing, while releasing the handle retracts the plunger to stop the flow of the paste. The 3D model and parts for this build will be listed in the description below. Here's a kit that I'll be using that has different sized syringe tips. This is the plunger retraction spring that I got from this awesome spring kit. The top of the dispenser requires melting in a heat set insert to provide sturdy threads for an adjustment screw that pushes on the syringe plunger. The frame and handle need to be connected with a small pin. This model was designed to use a piece of a paper clip for the pin. Kinda cool. Let's start by melting the heat set insert into the handle. I'll swap out my soldering iron tip for this awesome one that's designed for heat set inserts. It has nice square edges and isn't tapered like a regular soldering tip. This allows it to make good contact for heat transfer and won't get stuck like a regular tip can. I'll put links in the description below for the iron tips and for the heat set inserts that I use. When designing 3D models, I like to size the holes so that the end of the heat set insert can be hand pressed into the plastic and held in place with friction. Now I can heat up my iron and apply gentle but steady pressure until the insert starts sinking into the plastic. Oh man, so satisfying. I love the finished look of these things. It's miles better than putting screws directly in plastic. Okay, we're ready for assembly. I'll stop talking now and speed through putting things together. Alright, this thing's ready to go. You can buy paste in syringes that is easier to transfer into another syringe with a female to female adapter, but the paste that I have here is in a jar. The trick to getting it into the syringe is to move it around the paste while pulling back on the plunger. If you don't keep the tip moving, you will end up creating a void where you're just sucking up air. It's a little awkward, but not super difficult to get the inch of paste that I need in there. It takes a little bit of tweaking to get this dialed in. It's a combination of changing the syringe position in the frame and adjusting the screw that presses on the plunger. After a while, I was able to get it to where I could precisely control the dispensing of the paste. As the paste gets used up in the syringe, you will have to adjust the plunger screw and eventually reposition the syringe higher in the frame. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get used to the ergonomics of how you hold and actuate the lever while precisely guiding the tip. This thing has far exceeded my expectations. It's a little fiddly to dial in how much compression you need to push out the paste, but once you figure it out, it works really well. I'm really happy that I'm able to dispense individual blobs for each IC pin on this board. The pads for the 1206 resistors and capacitors are definitely no problem for this thing. Hats off to the designer of this model. 
I think it's super cool and this build was really fun. Before I go, here's a shot of the reflowed board that I was dispensing paste on. Hey, if you'd like to see more stuff like this, consider subscribing. Catch you on the next one.